Hi, this is Christoph Zapletal for FX PhD, back with FLM 104, an introduction to Flame Part 2. Building on everything we learned in Part 1 of this series, this course will complete your knowledge of all the core areas of Flame, enabling you to actually use Flame in a variety of ways to best suit your needs. With Flame being deeply rooted in VFX and compositing, this is the area where we will start off by taking a close look at everyday tasks like rotor and tracking, applied to real-life examples like a logo removal. But Flame is not only a great tool to work on existing footage, so we will use Action, Flame's 3D compositing environment, to build a logo animation from scratch. To conclude the VFX side of things, we'll discuss various ways to tackle multipass compositing inside of Flame. After that, we'll take a closer look at one of the more recent additions to Flame's toolset, the grading environment, also known as the Effects tab. To do so, we'll start with the most basic component of that toolset, the Master Grade Shader. Once we understand the nuts and bolts of that tool, we'll take it to the Image toolset, exploring all the different ways to use selectives to segment your image for grading. Then, we'll see how to apply all that we've learned inside the Effects tab, making use of the navigation tools specifically designed for grading. To finish off our series, we'll not only discuss best practices for export and archiving, but also have a good discussion about all the various workflows we previously learned, so that you can find out which workflow best suits your needs. So I hope you'll join me for FLM 104, an introduction to Flame Part 2.